Yo, mi numero is Carlin. So yo, you literally said mi numero. <laughs> my number is Carlin. What is it? What is it? <laughs> mi nombre. Mi nombre is. My number is the Colin. Don't they say la biblioteca? No, and now you're saying soy means I. <sighs> oh my goodness. How's it, guys? Let's bring it back to the continent. My name is Norika. I'm this Colin. Is Colin. And we are? The Bench. The Bench. The Bench. The Bench. The. How's it going, fam? I'm I. No, I'm I. It's cold, eh? How was my Spanish there? It's horrendous. A plus. Said in in the Sizulu. Guess Sizulu. Ah, nah. It's too many cameras, too many lights over here. <laughs> I don't want to pull what Narika did last uh, <laughs> last season with uh, saying happy birthday. You know the vibe. So let's just stay away from that for now. But other than that, football weekend. Ah, but yeah? before that, it's cold. Oh yeah, no. We hope that you're watching this video. You know, you warm guys. Wrapped up next to Bay. You know, with a nice cup of uh, Bay Milo. You know? This is the next football. Yeah, You're going to be in bed alone, guys. I, I wish happiness and love upon everybody's <laughs> life who's watching this. So, yeah, guys, don't listen to Narika. So you think Bay's going to bring happiness and, and light? Yes, if, and if they aren't, then you need to <laughs> hinge that or turn that Unless you're a Kaiser Chief supporter. Yeah, but we'll get Kaiser there. Chief we'll supporter. get there. It was pretty snowy <sighs> in KZN. Yeah, it was. You don't see, see no that every snow. day. I was driving through KZN. I did see not see no day. snow. They yeah. were lying. They were capping. There was no snow, guys. It was sunshine. Is it fake news? It's fake news. Fake it was news. sunshine, guys. I saw sunshine. Mm. But it's but it's super cold. Ooh, yeah. Airplane. Oh, yeah. It's really close. It's kind of mad. You see, we got scenes, fam. We're not <laughs> sure. Yeah, I know the scenery looks kind of weird. Moses does look kind of weird in the background, but you know, we're <laughs> back. We're back on home ground advantage. Home you ground know? So we can do whatever we want. You know, we <laughs> have the crowd over here. There's a uh, smell of food coming from the out of view of the cameras and there's planes over our head so you know there are planes people are moving during the panoramic nice life things we're back Jeez, we're back to normal for soft life but Colin is right football did return this weekend MTN 8 but before we get to the football there's a lot of things that have been happening in South African football I don't understand what's going on yeah and I need some clarification it's chess mm. chess not checkers I'm playing checkers South African football is playing chess. Nah, what, what are you saying? They're doing better than you. No, I don't understand. We're playing two different games. Wow, we chalk and cheese. Ch yes, okay, there we go. Chalk and cheese, chalk and we cheese, got the, oil and water. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that what chess and checkers means? Yeah, in, uh, no, it means that if I'm playing chess, I'm moving slow. I'm thinking all oh, tactical, but then checkers is just boom, boom, boom. But you know? there's still the some tactics game. in checkers. Yeah, but it's faster. It's faster. Okay. That's what okay. it is. That's okay, what okay, it is. Okay, I got it. Okay, chalk and cheese then. Chalk and cheese. Water and oil. I'm a bit confused. About news came out. TTM sold their rights. Okay. Yep. But they sold their rights last season. I think at the end of last. Yeah, season. towards the end of the last season. So they sold their rights. Mm -hmm. Then they rebranded. It's not rebranded. Well, if they sold their rights, the people who bought TTM yeah. rebranded to Marumo Gallons. Yes. And they're in the PSL. Yes. So the club isn't sold. It just basically the rights of the club that's all if you get what i mean so ttm still exists it still exists but it doesn't exist in the psl you know yes okay it exists so ttm's a club yeah. but marumo gallant is like a different club that bought their way into the yeah PSL. Ah, it's cool so then ttm now have been reported reportedly that's a confirmed deal oh it's a confirmed yeah that's a confirmed, confirmed deal bought the glad africa rights of royal am so that means ttm were in the psl sold rights to Maruma Gallants. Yeah. Okay. Not in the PSL anymore. Existing. Okay. You know, they, they're here in the clouds. Then, then they were like, ah, Royal AM. Royal AM. We're going to buy the rights. Glad Africa. Yes. Okay. So now Royal AM are in the clouds and then now TTM is Royal AM. Okay. Yes. Okay. But, but they're still TTM. Yes. Yeah. No, they're still TTM. Okay. Now. But the, in that TTM position, has now taken Royal AM's switch, place. It's a sub. It's a sub. Royal AM is here. They made a sub. TTM came okay, here. This yes, season okay. This is wild. So now Royal AM is here. Okay. They're now. Royal AM have... Is it a rumor or is this also confirmed? It's not confirmed with the PSL as of today are shooting. Okay. Yeah. So, as of right now, it's rumored that... But it's very heavily rumored. Royal AM... It's like, it's like if you're in school and you're next to your locker and you hear that that girl likes you next to you, fam. That's how good of a source <laughs> rumor. It's like Fab said, here we go, kind of rumor, <laughs> you know? That's basically what it's like. So, 
they've been rumored to have bought the rights of Bloom Celtic. Yep. For 50 million. I feel like the price doesn't really matter. 50 million is a lot of money, guys. Yeah, it How is. many vaccines we could have gotten over 50 million? It's life changing. It's life changing but money. They were like, we don't want to buy vaccines. We want to buy our way into the PSL. Yeah, can't blame them. Business. Business. Bit of a sticky situation. It is. They still have that ongoing fight with PSL. Yeah, about after buying their own trophies and trying to take the league. So, you know, it's hostage. Kind of, what did, did Royal M get bats from the pretty girl and then went and ordered a bride? Basically. And got into the PSL. Male order bride. Male order bride. Into, into the, the PSL. PSL. Straight away. You know? Is that what happened? Exactly. I like that one. Okay, yeah. okay. That's mad. It is mad. That's I mean, crazy. they did, they try to take the proper way of getting in. I think if you get back the proper way, you might as well just. I'm not mad though. What's like <sighs> the, the owner slash centre forward slash manager slash the, a, the AM in Royal AM. <laughs> yeah, my guy. You know. Is it the PSL? I guess it's gonna be exciting watching them if wow. if, if if the deal does close because I think they, there's a few like you know what is it dotting the eyes crossing the t's. There is that kind of stuff that still needs to be done, but it's basically 99.9 percent done. So. I think it's going to be exciting seeing these guys in the league. It's always exciting seeing a new team with new players and, you know, fresh faces. So, meh. So what's even more wild is that if Carlin didn't if, pick out a new team yeah. for a new season, your team wouldn't have existed. Destiny. Kind of crazy that Bloom sold their rights. Our part in life. Yeah, okay. If you're going to have a, a moment on that, you might as well have a moment of silence on Bloom's side. Because, yeah. I mean, it is one of South Africa's oldest uh, the PSL fan clubs. base must be one of the biggest uh, fan bases. I think everybody knows the main Bloemfontein Celtic fan. You know the guy with the shower cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? Cool. I think a both there. Yeah. Down so bad, bad. In I would like mind. to. I would like to talk to him and see how he feels about his club. Like you know, going yes, to up. you know. So if anybody got a contact details for both the fam, just direct him to the bench. You know. But yeah, it is a it is a sad day seeing an old time club. You know, with a lot of history, not existing anymore. Because you never know what they might do now. But yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of movement. Checkers being played. Checkers being played. It's kind of crazy. This is all happening. Like, and, and the the fight for the new season trophy hasn't even started. Yeah. And people are making movements like this. Um. And I actually told you before we started shooting, pirates are without a coach. Yeah, confirm. At time of sh- confirm. At, ta- at time of shooting. Yeah. Mr. Joseph Zimbabwe. <sighs> Resigned from Pirates. Resigned. Said he's th- thankful. thankful. I mean, for was it resigned or was it resigned? You know, was he forced out or did he leave on his own accord? You never know with these kind of things. I mean, if you look at it as a whole, he did kind of underachieve with his past three seasons. I think he was there for three or four seasons. You know, I don't think they won the league in that period. They only won like the MTN 8s maybe, you know, but... They played nice football though. Yeah, I mean, it's not about the football, but you know, it's today's game... It's a top game, tier Tim Lodge, we saw. Today's game is just about results. It's oh, about I'm results, saying, yeah. it's about the trophies, and you it know, is, people don't want to see... Is. He's a nice guy though, from his interviews and stuff, Mr. Zimba, you know, you're a nice guy, we, we love you in South Africa. I'm sure there's going to be another job in a couple of months. Do come back. They're going to bring you back. Yes, sir. Um, which takes us into the past weekend with the MTN 8 quarterfinals, Pirates, did lose 2-1 to Swallows yep. and that's I think what Colin was trying to read between the lines yeah, air quotes you know. is this the reason why he had to resign you know I mean they were the holders of, the, you, of now, the cup now they're not and now they're not the holders <laughs> of the cup now you just get knocked they're out in the there. first round you know yeah. I mean you see it happen in a lot of sports but uh, big ups to Swallows though. big ups to Swallows and I mean the, main, the main man Hamaldin the man whose transfer flopped at, I won't say flopped it just crashed or came falling down at the last minute to Chiefs, you know, and he's still as follows. I mean, the transfer window is still open. He's banged the one who two goals. banged in two goals, you know, and to get his guys the win. So, is that him putting himself on the map? My guy doesn't need to put you. He doesn't need to put himself on the map if he is the map. He's the map. He is the map. He's the Hummel coordinates. Hamaldin is a he's shoot con- to shoot, guys. The contour lines. Shoot to shoot. He's the scale. Last season, all of it. when I saw that man play for Bafana Bafana. Yeah. His ability to hold up hold the up, ball hey, in link the up. front, link, link up, up, distribute up there in the striking position he's in front the, of goals. He's the guy. He's that WhatsApp group admin, he, you know? He's the guy. He's, he's bringing people in, taking <laughs> them out. Guys, saying, we're meeting here. Exactly. And we leave with the Ubers coming at 8. Exactly. Yeah, and then we're going to reach the club at 9. You know what I mean? He's the guy. That guy. That guy. Oh, he's definitely the guy he thinks he is. But yeah, sad to see Pirates. I think they're catching two hours. They lost 
out of the MTN 8. Yep. You can't defend your trophy without a coach as nah, of today. Nah, he lost the manager. <sighs> Pirates. You know? Just when you think it's up. Shaky ground. It's down. Shaky ground. Um, the other game that also happened on Saturday was Arrows versus Supersport. That game ended 2-2. Two, two. Go Arrows. In it. In it. In it. In it. What can I say? That's one out of uh, Norika's five teams, you know, to qualify. All, it's three teams. And Arrows beat Supersport 4-3 yeah. on pens. That game actually went to penalties. I mean, it's exciting. I mean, I think as a whole, if you look at it as a whole, we did see a lot of goals this weekend. And I mean, it started off with the... The Arrows game, you know what I mean? Four goals, guys. Four goals, and then you're still getting uh, free football, basically, at the end with penalties and stuff. And you like to see another KZN team going forward, you know, after their good season from last season. New coach, you know, so I mean, they're into Movements the second round. The players. You, you know, know what I mean? They lost see. a lot of players, they lost a lot of key players, yeah. and, you know, and I mean, for them to beat Supersport, who is a good side, you know, in the in the, in the the Prem. So, yeah, shout out Tara, shout out Arrows. I can't think of a Golden Arrows song. I'm trying to think of a song that had the word Golden or Arrows in it. And Living my life like it's golden. I hate Mary J. Blige. I hate Mary J. Blige. What? You no offense. Nah, no, no, no. Offense to any, out no offense to any single... No offense to any single... To any single 40-year-old 40, 40 woman out there. But I hate Mary J. Blige. Haters are very yeah. strong. Yeah, yeah She sorry. brought us steps. Queen of R&B. But, yeah. but let's move past yeah. that before uh, Carlin gains more hate. Um... <laughs> Second KZN team that was in the MTN 8 this weekend, um, Zulu, Coach Benny and the boys yeah. versus Cape Town City. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the first hiccup of the season. Yeah, um, Zulu, the yes. first of True. many. Jokes. What? Jokes, 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 jokes. How can you say that? Jokes. I'm loyal. I'm from KZN. I'm from Durban. Coach Benny. Unlucky. Unlucky. 2-1. I didn't expect Cape Town City to beat Amazulu. I didn't really either. I mean, if you watch the game, it was a bit of a... It looked like they were coming from behind all the time. So it did look like they did lose a step. Maybe it's that new manager thing. You know, yeah. when, you know when the new manager comes in and everybody wants to impress the new manager, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, shout out for, for Cape Town City. And I mean, they did. You know, they so. took the lead. Yeah. Amazulu equalized. Yeah, and then, unlucky for Amazulu, it's a last minute goal. You know what that I mean? Could, like, yeah. 89 minute. 89 minute could have gone to extra time as mm-hmm. well. Also could have, been could have went to extra time. I think even the commentators were like, you know, when they, they're predicting extra time, all of a sudden they were surprised. Like, you know, Dansani scored. So shout out to Duzi for carrying on from last season. You know what I mean? So he got the number 10 shirt. He's proving well for his team and he's doing the thing. So yeah, Cape Town City. The clicks. Mm. You know, we don't clap for Cape Town? Poetry in motion. Po- no, they're not poetry in motion. <laughs> don't throw out lines like that. <laughs> bars like that for Cape Town City just yet. Um, and I guess the game of the weekend. So now I watched. No, I listened to this game. And I realized that. Oh, you went that old school, radio. Ra- listening to football on the radio is bars. And it's Parker. It's bars. <laughs> the guys on radio are very spicy here. Yeah. I, just want, I just want you to know. One of the commentators in real life could be like that. They're you know? so spicy. But yeah. Sundowns, Kaiser Chiefs played. Definitely match of the weekend. Definitely match What of an the introduction weekend. to a new season of PSL football. Like, I don't think anyone expected this to happen. But I'm going to hand over to you, Carlin, because this is your team. Tell us. What happened? Yeah. So I was on the Twitter. Has it you slander reports? No? Uh, no, it's oh, not. Okay. It's not. Okay. It's not. Oh. Yes, okay. Oh, mm. Let's get it out there. Let's get it out there. We lost, right? Okay. But let me tell you from the beginning. Okay, tell right. us the whole story. So I was on the Once Twitter. Upon a time. Kaiser Chiefs fans, we were all down bad. You know, we were all everybody was just like, oh my word, like you know, sundowns, they're just gonna come through us, they're gonna run through us, they're gonna be a thumpy time. I was like, no, wait. <laughs> hold on. Hold up. Let's not lose Been hope. Been a fan yet. for a whole week. Game started, right? Okay. Game started. Sundowns took the lead. One they no. took the lead one no. Took another lead, two no. Two no. You know, but what can you do? It's sundowns, you know? We resigned, we were just like, you know what, let's just chalk this up to uh, uh you know, early season loss, you know. But we see the progress. The, the boys weren't playing bad, but we're gonna lose, you know? Okay. Oh well. Uh, I was still out there. Oh. I had my faith, you okay. know, as a Kaiser Chiefs fan. Okay. For one week. Next thing you know, two one. We got our man Bernard Parker over there. Uh what did he do? You know? Ended a fifty game. 50 game, 50 game goal drought, you know. So shout out to that boy. I mean, and then again, certified lover boy came on in the second half. And he then just all came sudden, on. Yeah. He just came on. Link up play. Commentator on the radio is going wild. 2-2. Two, two. What can I you do? I, I thought I was hearing things. Signing. Because when I was driving, guys, through KZN, reception was a bit off. 
I heard two no, two on. Then I heard two two extra time. I was like, whoa, Sardin. slow down. Sardin. What a guy. You know, and it was literally his first touch. He came on and then literally like, you know, the camera wasn't even panned in onto him. Yeah. Like, you know, it didn't even seem like do a couple jogs on the pitch and everything like that. It's literally like as soon as he came on, first touch, assist, you know, billiard goal. So, you know, shout out to the boys. Come you know, on, come two, a billiard, two. guys. 2-2, two, two, you know? Come billiard scored. Then, again, I mean... Is that because Keegan's back? <sighs> it is. I mean, they said they haven't played together for years. Yeah, CBD. And he, and he comes back and then they just... We're just waiting for Castro to come back and then that link-up, that, that CAF Champions League link-up will be back at Kaiser Chiefs, you know? But, I mean, the boys did have chances off the equalising. We did take it extra time. And then we did end up taking horrendous penalties. How are there you know? only three penalties scored in the game? Shocking, three shocking, guys. shocking penalties. Three penalties. You know. What are they? Normally like ten, five, yeah, five. Yeah, you know, only life, three were scored. You can't be perfect in life, you know. Three it's penalties. A give and take. Sundowns one, two one yep. on penalties, guys. My goodness. All yeah. the penalties being saved. Sundowns keeper, Kennedy. Mwini. Mwini. Yeah. Four saves and scored a pen. Yeah, I mean, that's an AFCON winner right there. So he's, he's known for that. Sundowns scored two penalties. Mm. And one of those penalties scored came from your goalkeeper. Yeah. Guys, this is wild. There's no rules in this And he life. did make, uh, he made Kune do the stanky leg on the line over there. <laughs> so it was kind of, as a ch- towards that penalty spot of the game, as a Chiefs supporter, it was kind of embarrassing. But you know what? We move. The Lala K, it's pin, was a goal. Let's not lie. Okay, yeah. If you want to talk about the pins as well, then there was a lot of sus, you know, uh, Guys kept on saying on the radio, we need VAR in this country. Yeah. Where is VAR in I this mean, country? If you were on the Twitter streets. VAR is needed in this country. You know, it is needed. I mean, if you, what's crazy is that, you know, the rule is keepers are supposed to have at least one foot on the line, right? We all know this. We all know this. We have a linesman on the line. We have the ref and then we have the linesman. That guy over there is supposed to be doing his job. He gets paid to make sure that there's one foot on the line. Kennedy and Winnie did not have one foot on the line Doesn't matter. for two of the penalties taken. You know what I mean? So that's two penalties. But that, a ball that being he saved, saved. That he saved. But a he saved. ball being saved inside the goal, Colin. No, he was saved outside. He jumped forward. No. He the line. Do you must see the, have you not seen the screenshots? Have you not seen anyway, the video replay? It's behind. He saved, yeah. he saved it. His, foot, his feet was on the line. You know what I mean? And that's two penalties that should have been retaken. And you never know what happens at the end of the day. If you roll the dice again, Chiefs win that game. Chiefs don't win that game, Chiefs guys. win that game, you know? Chiefs don't win I that move game. Forward. I move forward in my life. Peter Shalilile, Timbers on it. Just, they continued the top tier quality from last season into nah. the new season. My yeah. guys, we're not losing the I'm, game. I'm, I'm the delusional fan. You, okay? are, yeah. I, you are a delusional yeah. fan. One week, two weeks of being has achieved support. So one week, actually. It's not about it's not about the duration. Oh, okay. It's not about, about the, the commitment. Duration. It's about the, a commitment. Commitment to the know? team. Yeah. A big well, it's not a big Al Stewart Baxter to come out said that like you know yes, because he's lost, but there's a lot to work yeah. with now, and he knows that going forward. I think, if I remember correctly, which is a wild statement to make, <laughs> he said that Kaiser Chiefs could contend. How's that wild? Contend what? The league, any trophy you put in front of us. So it's not Obviously just not the Stuart Baxter league. that was being a bit. No, nah, fam, I told you this is Kaiser Chiefs. This is Kaiser Chiefs 2.0. This is Kaiser Chiefs uh, backed by Carlin. You know, so once I come into the picture, this is a different, a different kind of spice. They're going to contend. Sauce on it, fam. They know, they know I'm there. They know my presence over there. They in the just club, snuck you know? into it's the different. into the top it's eight. Different, they fam. literally just like they, you know. They waited till everyone left the kitchen, opened the pot, stole a piece of meat, got into the top eight. And now, they are going to contend. Yeah, it's not about how you do it. It's My goodness. The way you do this it. This is wild. That makes no sense. I know that um, the coaches from Mamelodi Sound are yeah. happy. They said defensively shocking. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. You go 2-0 no up. You are four peak champions. You expect better from the guys. Defensively, it was a shambles, but mm. they move forward. Guys. They move forward. I they mean, to the next round. Unlike last season, I miss at least Mamelodi Sundowns do move forward. I mean, they got knocked out by Bloom last season. I'm sure we all remember that. Doesn't matter, you know. And now, 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 at least, now at least they're in the semi-final. They you know, don't we don't talk. Exist. We spoke about that already. <laughs> they're in the semi-finals, you know. So uh, if I had to put my money on anybody to end up winning the trophy, it will be Sundowns. 
the MTNN trophy. Yeah. Ah, it's cool. But yeah, so everyone's on to... So it's Cape Town City, Sundowns, Arrows, Swallows, on to the next round of the MTN8 semi-final, which is a two-legged semi-final, yeah. which we are excited and ready for. But this weekend, uh, we spoke about it in our last episode, but this weekend is the official kickoff yep. of the DSTV Premiership. First round of games to look forward to. Sundowns with Amazulu. Sundowns title, title holders. Amazulu title challenges. Money's on. Amazulu. Sundowns. Amazulu. Sundowns. Amazulu. Okay. Amazulu need a bounce back from the loss. We'll see. We will see. Um, I'm excited to see uh, New Boys on the Block. Sekukune up against Chipa. Um, I kind of want Chipa to have a better season. But it's nice to see. Con, what is that? Yes. Okay. I don't think that's a thing. That's an S fam. Okay. That's okay. Cool. <laughs> um Arrows versus Maritzburg, that's the case in Derby. Pirates versus Dillies. Pirates maybe they'll have a manager by the time he released this. And Pirates. <laughs> oh, is that what you doing? Sign like yeah. all your winners. This is my winners fam. Oh, these are the people winners. you want to win. Um Baraka versus Marumo Gallant, so it's nice to see Oh Marumo Gallant's new boys as well. Are they they are. They are new boys. It's a new club. It's a new ownership. New management. New manager. New players. So yeah. And then on the card, it does say Swallows versus Celtic, but now Celtic don't yeah. exist. Yeah, that's kind of a weird one. I think we're gonna have to wait and see. So if it's Swallows like versus Swallows Rale versus Rale Rale Rale, Maybe. Is that know? it? I think we'll know by like midweek. You know exactly what's gonna happening. So yeah. That's crazy. Uh, drop Solid. a comment, guys. Let us know your thoughts from the MTN8 quarterfinals and who do you think is going to make it all the way to the MTN8 finals. It is cup competition, which is the most exciting type of football. Um, also, leave your thoughts about buying your rights into the PSL. We've seen yeah. a lot of movements. Maruma Gallons bought their rights into the PSL. Real AM is about to buy their rights into the PSL. And Bloom fans, come out and let us know what you think about Bloom being bought out you know not top tier no longer existing what's going no. to happen there Sad what is going to happen um keen to hear your predictions on winners for the new psl 21 2022 season don't forget to like share and subscribe you know the vibes is always love until next time